Uh, they extend from Africa to India. But, but uh, please don't mistake the, the text and overlook uh, the potential that was in this culture, that was in this man called Jethro. Because Jethro became uh, uh, Moses' father-in-law. And as they began to move millions of people across the wilderness, uh, uh, the people got weary. And the people got irritated. And the people could not understand uh, what was going on. Because they thought that why would Moses bring us out here for us to die when we could stay in Egypt and live. Even though it was slavery, we had a house to go to. Even though we were in slavery, we had food to eat. Even though we had to work under rigorous and uh, pressure, amen, with low pay, we still had something to lay down and had something in our own hands. Why would Moses bring us out here, out here in no man's land with nothing? Bring us out here and we can't see where God is taking him. And they got, they got upset with Moses and said, Moses, we don't like what you're doing. And they started murmuring and they started complaining. And they started coming to Moses day and night. And Moses being the pastor that he was, having a pastor's heart. You know how we do. We want to talk to everybody. We want to spend time with everybody. They want to spend time with us. Here regardless of how that wears us down. But look at where Jethro comes in as a leader and as an administrator. He comes over to Moses after he examines the situation. Our people were coming to him by day and by night. And he pulls Moses to the side and says, let me paraphrase the Come here, son-in-law. I know you got an anointing on you. I know God brought you out here to deliver his people over here in a place called Canaan. But Moses, I see you weary. I see that you're wearing down. And you can't do this because if you can Moses, it's going to kill you. It's going to weigh you out and the people are going to die. So let me give you some wisdom, uh, Moses. You need to get some leaders uh, and place them over in that group of fifties and hundreds uh, and let the leaders handle in that, the small affairs. 